Odessa, I'm gonna help me to welcome another testimony to the front as Elv Evelyn gonna come to the front to share her testimony. Um, so she started coming to her church four months ago. Her whole family, they drive to Tri Cities every Sunday and Wednesday from Walla Walla. So shame on those that come late that live in Tri Cities. Um, so I always find interesting to find out how people hear about this church. And so her dad went to encounter with one guy that he met from Spokane. They had an encounter in Seattle. They met each other in um, in Seattle. And so that man, he's like, hey, I'm going to John T. Conference. Do you think you can host me? It's kind of close from you. It's in Tri Cities. So that guy from Spokane comes and he stays over in Walla Walla for John T. Conference. And so that guy brings him over to John T. And so that's how they've been introduced to our church and they've been coming here ever since then. And so um, Evelyn, she has a testimony for us this morning. I want you to share it with us. Hi. So um, my testimony is healing from back pain. I used to have back pains since like middle school. That's when they became really bad. I kind of like on both my mom's and my dad's side, they've had problems with back pains. And, um, and like when I was little, I would jump on trampoline a lot, you know, do flips and things like that. And then after a while, as I started growing and then in middle school, I started wearing a one strap backpack, like a side bag and I would always wear it on the same shoulder and it weighed down on that shoulder and I noticed it started to mess with my back and like all those different things combined kind of really started to mess with my back muscles. And so my back has started getting very, um, it would get stiff very easily if I'd be sitting in one position too long, like it, usually if I'd be sitting on a like straight bench like playing piano or even if I'd be sitting on a soft chair like a couch, if I'd be in one position for too long, sometimes too long as 10 minutes, my back would start to get stiff. And it was usually like a knot or like a clenched nerve. And when I try to rub it out, it would only make things worse. The pain would only spread. And I'd try to use heating pads and those wouldn't help either. I would just wake up hot and in pain. And, um, and so yeah, it made lots of things hard to do just basic things. Like sometimes I couldn't, um, sometimes I would lay in bed, actually, if I'd be trying to just lay and rest, I'd be laying on my bed, and I couldn't lay flat because my lower back would be stiff and it would be hurting, and I would have to either be sitting up or, like, cur like curve my back so that it wouldn't hurt, and so I'd only be able to lay on my sides and things like that. What did doctors say about your back pain? Um, we went to a doctor for a checkup for something else, and then they thought to check for scoliosis, and I, I thought that I had scoliosis. I thought that wearing the backpack misaligned my spine, and so I'm like, that's probably what it is, and so I asked them to check it, and they feel my spine, and they're like, you're fine. Your back is normal, and I'm like, but I have all these pains that don't go away no matter what I do. What is that? And they're like, well, maybe it's just, you know, nerves, maybe like just muscle spasms, you know. Uh, but I was like, nothing helps. What, what am I supposed to do about this? I, it didn't come to me that it's something I necessarily need to be healed from. I, what I was focusing on is like healing my shoulder, but back pains. Maybe it did once or twice. I did pray about it, but for the most part, I just thought it was something I had to deal with. Why did you accept it, your back pains? I was used to them, I guess, because I figured I did it to myself, wearing the one-strap backpack and playing around on the trampoline, jumping a lot. I figured I did it to myself, you know, and so I had to live with my mistakes. How did you receive your healing? So a few weeks before we started coming here, before we found out about Hungry Generation, I went to encounters over in Seattle, which for those of you who don't know, they're kind of like prayer line, but over like a few day period. And, um, <laughs> and over there, we, I, I came mostly for um, deliverance from some things, and healing-wise, I was, I think I was only thinking of my shoulder, maybe a few other things. But um, I was focused on my shoulder, and I don't think I even thought twice about my back. But then afterwards, after we'd already been coming here for a few weeks, and I signed up for prayer line, we were sitting out in the gym waiting to be like pulled out to be spoken to individually like what's your um what are you coming here to be, get delivered from and stuff and we're sitting there and i think someone mentioned something about back pains i don't remember what they said but something just clicked in my brain and i was like wait a minute i haven't had any back pains since that encounter 
I didn't even realize it. And the thing is, the reason God, rem I think God reminded me of that right at that moment is to strengthen my faith because the mindset I'd had for the longest time is if you, if you receive any kind of healing or anything, you have to fight for it in faith. It's gonna, the pain's gonna come back, the whatever, anger or something is gonna come back and you're gonna have to have fight. You're gonna have to fight off the doubts with declarations, with prayers, and hope that it goes away, you know? That, that was my faith. I felt like I had to fight for it myself and hope God would come through. But then here I was sitting and God told me, I healed you from back pain. You didn't have to fight a bit, it was all me. And that just made me realize, you know, how big my God is, that, that he, it's not me, it's him that does it, and I just have to trust in him. And how long has it been that you have not had back pain? Been like four and a half, maybe five months already. And you have had them since middle school? Right. Since middle school, yeah, if not earlier. And what is your advice today to the people that maybe are having back pains? Trust in God for the most part, know that it's not your battle to take on. It's not you alone against the world, against all these things. You have to put your faith and your trust in God, ask him and believe that he will come through. And like for those of you that come for prayer lines and things like that, I know we like to come with like a list of all these things we need to get freed from and healed from. And if that doesn't happen, we're like, God, I, you, you didn't come through, you know? But he started with my back pains, which is not something I thought, not something I had in mind. I didn't even think of it, but that healing, that boosted my faith, and that's where God started working on me, is where I didn't expect him to. So be open to however God will touch you and wherever he will heal you, whatever he'll deliver you from, be open to, to that, the way that God works, and the fact that he doesn't always work the way you want him to. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We can go sit down.